Welcome back guys to episode 21 of Higurashi where oh my god that ending where we saw Satsuko enter that you know alternate universe where we normally meet Hanyu but this time we were greeted by someone else so can't wait to see exactly who they are what they're kind of planning as to why they picked I guess Satsuko to become the next looper or just exactly what they're up to so I guess without further ado let us get into things and if you guys want to watch more anime make sure to Check out the link above for our synchronizer video in three, two, one, go. I'm really excited to see exactly who that mysterious, uh, a little bit scary yet gorgeous kind of person exactly was. Before me once more. Hmm. There, via Mitsuyo. Ha! Huh? Spinal cord special. What? The fuck is she on about? Yo, what is this like? Dimension. Spent in pursuit of this meeting, yet in your moment of triumph, you've forgotten who I am entirely. So she's always been a looper? She just doesn't have the memories. Oh no, Rika's always whole. Ha Granted the power I possess. Travel to find the world of which you desire, sir. I feel like she's up to no... Like, no one just goes, here's my awesome powers that will grant you your wish. Well, you're about to to reset your world from the beginning all you must do is die yeah what's the cost What's the cost? Why? A deemed entertaining? That is a payment enough for my gift. The fuck? Oh no. Oh no. It's like four or five years ago. We're back to like 19, what was it? 83. Five years ago. We're back to like older, old animation. <laughs> We're a bit like Baby Satoko. It is happening, sweetie. Okay, 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 okay. So, I, okay, one of the bit of dialogue I want to touch back on is she's like, oh, um, we've, 
constantly looked for us to meet um, something along those lines. She said it as though, you know, yes, indeed, Satoko has been looping because obviously we know that Rika is a looper. So does she mean that in the sense like you've you've been constantly looping through like Rika's looping powers because obviously Satoko didn't have that looping power yet until like to this exact moment. For them to meet, like that was a bit of dialogue log that kind of caught my attention i guess another one is the fact that where she was like if i deem this to be you weren't there i swear to god you weren't there of course no she wouldn't have been there until we just got introduced to her it was just the smile oh she's there now that's creepy that's maybe this is a battle between like two gods like Kanyu and um two demons I, I don't know exactly what to label her as yet but like or that she's doing this all for fun because the one bit of dialogue I wanted to quickly mention was when she's like if I deem this entertaining enough um that will be enough for my gift I was just like wait that's the payment like if you enjoy what you see like that's 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 the like oh that was that was freaky in itself. All, all of that though, yeah. Everything is... But what about the five years you've lived through Satoko? But the... Oh, shit. Oh, that wasn't quite the reaction I was expecting. None of that would ever happen. Is this going to be an entire episode of me watching Satoko relive? And Hanyu's there. Oh, Satoko. Yeah. I think she's realizing that the same events are happening as she uh, uh, as she dreamed. Oh no, cicadas don't cry, baby. <laughs> I wonder what Satoko will do. Because surely, yeah, surely she's catching on now. Like it's the exact same events, order of events. I wonder if she'll choose differently this time. Oh, I thought I thought Satoko was gonna freak out there. Just say no, Satoko. Like, just just say no. Oh, but I guess she wants to stay with Rika. Yeah. Okay, same bit of dialogue. Or maybe this. 
overall theme is just like Okay, so this it was a little bit different in the dialogue. Finally found a world where I can leave him as I am, by my own will. I don't like to make my dreams come true. Like, why do you, why do you need to bring Satoko to bring your dreams? I, I don't like this little bit of guilt. I, I, it is like a little bit back and forth, but like, I don't like the way she kind of guilt. Yeah, guilt tripped kind of Satoko. Like, if you won't help me like realize my dreams, like I'll just study by myself. Like that's, that's low. That's pretty shit low. I'm surprised that Satoko's going down the same route. Like, she knows what happens. Or maybe she'll just, like, try harder. I don't know. I feel like the two themes we're either going to explore is... Oh, okay, okay. She is going to do things differently. I want to see if she... Satoko is going to test Rika, or... Hmm. No, it looks like Satoko just wants to, like, entrap Rika. This arc is definitely emphasizing to me that I think Satoko does Satoko is a good loop because I did mention this last week of of how I feel like she's happy to stay within the past. Kichi's too sweet. I mean, Satoko can't do this forever. What is she? <laughs> Nobody wants you to change. But like, okay, now now I guess on a flip argument, it's just like, but you are going having you are ha going to have to grow, Satoko. Like I know she wants to live in this moment, but we can't just live in this moment forever. Okay, looks like she's probably too tired to s Oh, Satoko, you're crazy at showing and I don't like it. And that's what it looks like Rika will do whatever she can. I mean... 
Zateka can't stop Rika from achieving her dreams and Rika can't guilt trip Satoko into just tagging along on her dreams. Oh, this is a really complicated friendship, honestly. I'm not too sure. Hmm. I get that, but... Yeah, let, let's be honest with each other. I think that's a good start. That's sort of exam. <laughs> if it's for you, oh. Yeah, she's lived it that literally. <laughs> it's just not Satika, and that's fine. Like, oh, I mean, she does. Satika just rejects it. The school also has a prison, so it's fucked up. <laughs> Just this one last time. Wow, Satoko tries this all again, even knowing the outcome. And hopes that Rika keeps her promise. I didn't like that line from Satoko where she said, I would do like anything for your happiness. Where's Satoko? Is this not the same? Oh no, I knew this was going to be a trigger point once again. Some best friend you are. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh dear no. Sorry. 
So, so they don't even need to show us. It just, it was the same events just over again. But this time, I am leaning more towards Satoko. Was this not like a complete betrayal and like? Or were you lying about that too? Goldfish turds, excuse me. <laughs> Does she? Hmm. Oh no, maybe maybe I do need to keep my mind open because yeah, it is true. She did offer help, but Satoko in in that last talk that we did see last episode, I mean. Oh, I don't know a game. Fuck. Oh my god, what are you going to do? She's just giving her a hug. Relax. But I don't feel like it's just a hug. Oh no, not the chandelier. Next time I won't let you deceive me. Oh my gosh, she's going to trigger. No. In the ending, of course, you fucking do like a solo shot of the chandelier. I just thought it was odd, like when we walked into the hall, they did like a solo shot of the chandelier, and I was like, "No, yeah, I mean, like, it's I'm like I don't, I don't pay much attention to it. I just thought like it was a little odd that it stood out, but then they did. Satsuko did that, um, and also I was suspicious of it because um, last time's episode, you know, her prank uh, to bring. Rika's funness back was it something fell oh, those like um balls fell from the this ending is cruel wow but also a new ending into episode 21 fascinating is it the same song though this is weird oh why is there like barren land and a solo focus on Rika. Oh my god. Oh, this is really just trippy. I, I see her in the background. Because it's just, it's like a loop, you know? The ending just goes around and around and around. It's just, it's dizzy. It's confusing. I don't, oh, no, 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 that ending was not cool. No, I did not appreciate that one. Oh my god. Um, I guess having a couple of like non-death episode, I was pretty like relaxed in the sense I did not see that ending coming whatsoever. But I guess I decided to use her looper powers because as she knows, um, that mysterious woman, I, just, I don't know exactly what her name or figure is yet. So we'll just call her mysterious woman A, did tell Satoko that to trigger the powers, you just need to die. And I guess Satoko did decide to take that route by literally giving, I guess, a Rick 
a hug of death. That was all cruel and I think it definitely just shows the point where Satoko just goes insane because she feels such a big betrayal and this I guess the whole topic of like betrayal is quite complex because I'm not going to completely I was like more so siding with Satoko but like yes thinking back a couple of episodes back I'm pretty sure I did defend like Rika and say but Rika did offer help you know she did reach out to Satoko and be like hey I can help you study but Satoko was the one to indeed reject that so and that's why I think the situation is not like completely also one-sided the only thing I guess is like the way it was portrayed with it this like first loop was the fact that we actually had that heartfelt talk and I felt like Rika should have been a lot more understanding during that conversation because in the end it was still her just be like no I want us to do this together for my dreams like that was still really big I think I feel like after that conversation she should have still left like things open in the airs for Satoko at least like I've given her some different options but I just felt like she was just like oh no you should just still do this for me because like I'll keep this promise you know we'll still be friends like you know for my dreams let's all do this but in the end like she indeed did not keep that specific promise but can I really say that when she did indeed offer Satoko a helping hand but I guess Satoko did rebut to that by saying I wanted your help not like your pity but then isn't that what Rika also said of Satoko just placing herself under Rika like isn't this just like a whole convoluted mess of just I don't know miscommunication misunderstandings but personally to me this arc as well as this episode specifically I felt like emphasis Size. you know taking out all the death and looping and just like all of the chaos that is Higurashi I felt like it also just showed us the topic of just like kind of growing up and separating from who was your best friend or who was like pretty much a sister figure to you like someone you know Rika and Satoko indeed have such a tight and close relationship but maybe when you grow up it's okay for you guys to kind of go on different paths and for you to grow up and kind of I guess separate from each other like I just felt like this episode really showed that you can't just like live for one another like especially in Satoko's case because Rika did achieve for you know Saint Lucia but Satoko was still about as I said I really don't like that quote of like I would do anything for your happiness isn't that what ended up causing Satoko's demise and like struggles and just like kind of craziness like, isn't that the start of it all so you know Satoko living for Rika's happiness ended up completely destroying her happiness and I guess like her mentality as she feels this immense betrayal from Rika like, didn't eventually like what Satoko aimed to do for Rika's happiness end up more so ruining their relationship like if Satoko in that moment where they had that heart to heart conversation was like no like I'd rather just stay in Himazawi like I'm gonna do my own thing wouldn't they have been able to like meet every now and then and be friends I don't know I just felt like taking out all the deaths and just like mysteries I do feel like a core topic that Higurashi also does focus on is just like I don't know growing up friendship I do feel like that is the underlying kind of topic that they have always been trying to share to us but then it's topped off with all the mystery the death you know the killing all the craziness shenanigans that I just feel like below all that is the core kind of message of just like I guess friendship and like living your kind of own life out yeah I guess personally I really saw that theme come out through in this episode I just felt like it was a core kind of focus on Rika and Satoko's relationship and exactly kind of the reason it fell apart when it didn't kind of need to I am curious did you guys kind of see that more specifically within this episode like I did or was this always kind of like an underlying theme you sense I am curious because yeah I just feel like in a way this arc specifically is a story about you know two different girls needed to go on their different pathways but weren't able to because one was greedy to drag one into their dream and one was so selfless that she gave up her life as well as her happiness for her best friend who knows but curious to hear your guys thoughts though do make sure to always share them in the comments below but I guess next week a fresh start to the loop I wonder how Satoko who now definitely knows how to trigger the power as a looper and who has been through a full betrayal from Rika will behave what kind of actions will she take in this next loop I guess until then make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll definitely catch you guys next week